So yeah, I'm Sam. I'm the co-founder and CTO at Oso, uh, which is an open source policy engine for authorization. And it's available in a number of different languages, but obviously for tonight, I'll be talking about the, the Python library. So the Oso library, um, you can kind of add in any, you know, any application. But again, for this meetup tonight, I'll be talking about the embedding it in a Django application using our Django specific integration. So there's kind of three, three main reasons why we think Oso is interesting. Um, the first is that it allows you to separate your authorization logic from your application code. And it does this through um, a declarative policy language, which is called Polar. And I'll kind of go into the syntax of that in a bit. And the final thing is it's incredibly extensible. So the, the API of it is very simple, and there's like a number of different ways you can, you can actually use it in your application. OK. So for the purpose of this, we put together a, this little Django application. It's available at social.oshq.com. So you can go there if you want and, um, and go see the application itself. If you go to that URL, you should see it look something like this. So it's a very simple app. Um, you know, it can support the you know, basic social uh, media functionality. You can log in. Um, for the sake of this, it doesn't do any uh, username password validation. You can just type anything and it'll let you in. So as you can see, I'm logged in as Sam and I can make new posts. And importantly, these posts can be uh, public or private. So I'll make this one public. Cool. So this is the app. Um, if I, so as I said, it's a Django application. So for example, here you can see the, uh, the post model we're using to store the, um, the post information. So this has things like the access level, like how visible should it be, public or private, and you know, the contents of the post itself. So the main thing I'm going to walk through is um, doing authorization. So you know, whether a user should be allowed to see a post or not. So to add OSO to your application, what you'd first do is install the Django OSO um, package and then add Django Oso to your installed apps. And that's it. We now have all the Oso functionality inside it. Now that you have this in place, what you can do, for example, is import the authorized method from the package. And you can see here on line 20, we're using it to check whether the current user is allowed or not um, to view this post. So we're iterating through the post and checking whether the user can view it. And that's, that's like entirely it from the application side of things. The logic itself, is you can see in the in the sidebar here uh, is inside this policy folder. So the Django Oso app searches for policy files inside this folder, and this is what the policy we're using looks like. So we have two rules. Um, this here is a is an allow rule, and the syntax of this is saying um, you know allow an actor to view a post if these conditions are true. So it's saying the post's access level must be equal to access public. And the interesting thing is here. Like these are all the types coming from the from the Django application. So this is referencing the social.post uh, model. The access public here is the constant we defined on that model. The field, the attribute is checking here again is like on that actual piece of data. And so similarly here, we can check that the user must be a an instance of the of the logged in user, and they can see a post if it's private, and they're the one who created the the post. And so I can even add like more rules, for example, this one saying that a uh, user can view a post if the contents contains the, the, the username. So if I add that one, for example, and refresh the page, oof. <laughs> we have a bunch more, bunch more posts. And you can see this one, for example, from Bob uh, is actually mentioning me. So it was private before we couldn't see it. Cool. So Basically, the main thing that we just saw here, right? The so all the policy files were separated from the application, just written in that in that policy folder. So all of the logic has been has been put there. Um, and you know, this is a, this is a very simple model we just gone through. It has it just has a post. It has a, a single user type. But the thing we've seen from the people using it who are building things like um, electronic health record software is that when they have you know hundreds of models, they have you know tens or hundreds of different user roles and things like that. Having been able to put all that logic in one place can actually make it way more um, convenient to work with. The Again, the policy I showed you is, is pretty straightforward. Um, that was just for a couple of rules, and hopefully it was easy to follow. If you want to see what a you know more complicated um, policy might look like, we wrote this blog post on implementing the GitHub authorization model um, using the Polar policy. Uh, speaking of blog posts, we also linked to this, uh, to this example I'm showing you here. We have a blog post written up on how that, wo um, how that works, which you can access from the link here at the bottom. And then finally, extensibility, I, I mentioned at the beginning. So the version I just showed you here is authorizing on accessing a single post. 
But there's a bunch of other ways you can use this. So we have a Django, middle, uh, Django middleware that will be applying uh, authorization to every request that comes in. And we've also seen our users use it for things like deciding whether a particular um, piece of the UI should be visible or you know, should this user be able to access posts at all you know, at a sort of a model level. So I will leave you with a few links. Um, the, the website, you can come join our Slack if you want to come to chat to me or my team. Um, and the, the repository, all the code is to here at the bottom.